Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you could see, like I changed my channel name to now Philo Family because I wanted to create this family <laughs> for all of us Filipinos out there. And if you're a Filipino, that's okay too. You know, like join the Philo Fil 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 Gang, Philo Family, whatever you guys want to call it. So for this video, we are finally filming a Q&A. My last Q&A was, I think, the very first video I uploaded, or the very first video I filmed, which was like two years ago. So, let's go, let's see how this goes. So, I, my map have to shut down. Oh, my questions are gone. <laughs> um, I, I asked some of you guys to... Well, I asked you guys on Instagram to give me questions so I can answer them. Thank you to everyone that did ask a question. Like, it means so much for me. Like, it just helps me more grow, you know. It's, and it just shows that you guys are supporting me. So, thank you. Okay, okay. Let's start it off. Let's start with an easy one. <laughs> Someone said, favorite book. Um, my favorite book is called How to Fall in Love. I actually don't know who it's by, but I'll put a picture of it up here. But it's a really cool book. It doesn't like, it's a story. It's actually based in Ireland, in Dublin, Ireland. And it's just how this woman finds this guy and this guy is very, very vulnerable, very vulnerable at this time in his life and then this girl comes along and tries to teach him but then you know you can't teach love you just it just happens and stuff and that's why i really like the book yes that's my favorite book <laughs> next is what is it like living on your own without your parents um it's really i would say cool i don't know it's a lot of responsibilities because you do have to do everything on your groceries cooking cleaning Literally everything, you just have to do everything by yourself, you know, and I think that's really good because it just teaches you how to be independent, how to be responsible for yourself, which I've been learning this past year. I think it's almost a year that I've moved out and I mean, it's really cool. It's just really learning to discipline yourself because sometimes you do overdo things and stuff, but like you have to like take a step back be like, okay, that's not right. Let's start again. Let's take it back just calm down and stuff but yes it's been a good experience for me like i've learned a lot this past year so i really like it and you know if you want to move out you should but make sure do it in a, in a good way next question is what's your favorite place in the philippines to be honest i really just want to travel philippines more like i've been Whenever I go home to the Philippines, I usually just stay in the family house with my, my cousins and family. And I haven't really had the chance to explore Philippines more. Like, I want to travel to Palawan, I want to travel to Baguio, I want to travel to, like, a lot of places. I've only been to Ilocos Norte, which, oh, it was just beautiful. And I've been to Bel Air, too. And those experiences just makes me want to travel to Philippines more. But at this moment, my favorite place would be... To Gigaro City, where my family is, you know, just because that's where they are. But I'll answer this question once again when I get to try the Philippines, and that's when I can, like, you know, whoa, I have more stories to tell and stuff. But yeah, traveling videos. Next one What are your goals for the future, and where do you see yourself five years from now? So, um, my goals for the future is just to. Why should I don't know to be honest? Because like times like these like COVID and stuff, it just shows how no one knows what's gonna come in the future, no one knows it's gonna happen. So how, what I'm starting to see life now is I don't like to plan stuff anymore because when I do plan something and it doesn't work out, I just get so disappointed in myself. So it's like you know so I think it's better for just to take things step at a time and just live life. I just like to live in the moment, live my life now and just see where it goes. We have the usual plans like I want to become this when I'm older, da 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 da. But I kind of stopped doing that due to the fact that nothing goes as planned. 
I don't like that. I don't like padding anymore. Like, I just don't. <laughs> oh, there's something in my eye. Next question. Would you rather just stay friends and only friends for the rest of your life with him? Or stay with him for a limited time and never be with him afterwards? Oh, <laughs> um, would you rather just stay friends and only friends for the rest of your life with him or stay with him for a limited time and never be with him? Um, that's really hard. I don't think I'd want, like, obviously you can just stay as friends, but uh, like when you develop something with someone, f just being friends isn't enough and that's why you get with someone. You know, and you just commit yourself to another level. Like, friendship can be intense, can be deep too. But being together, creating this relationship, is just really different to being friends. Therefore, I picked up to stay with him for a limited time and never be with him. Or, I don't know, I just don't. Because I don't want to have to choose, you know. <laughs> That's such a... Oh, I don't have, like, a really answer for that. I don't know if which one I would choose to be honest because I can't just stay with friends with him because the feelings and the emotions that I have for Sean is just too deep to just be friends, you know? And the limited time, no, it's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Next one. Oh yeah, what was your first impression you ever had of someone? Um... I actually don't know. I feel like first impressions... I'm not sure actually. I think there's this one that um, I was texting this person for like, in, we were just texting and calling and then we got comfortable texting and calling. But then when we see each other in person, it was just so awkward. Like he was, he or she was just wasn't who I thought they were from just calling and texting, you know? So it really is different. When you get used to texting calling, that's why they say you should never get used to like texting and calling. But at the start, you just have to keep, you have to meet them as well. Then you can you kind of get the whole overview of that person. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think I have. Okay. Next question: If someone does you wrong, would you be the bigger person or just let them apologize? To be honest, I always choose to be the bigger person because I don't like grudges, I don't like holding stuff in my heart. And so I like confrontation, I like to tell you how I feel, I like to just say everything because then nothing is said, everything is just there, you know. Yeah, so I always just try to be the bigger person and just apologize or just reach out first and be like, hey, can we talk? Yes. Uh, favorite best, favorite slash best date spots? Um, <laughs> I'd say we used to have this restaurant that we used to go to all the time. It's called Arisu. It's this Korean barbecue place down in town. And oh, we used to go there for every month's tree, for every time we're hungry. He'd usually get the sweet and sour pork, and then I would get um, bulgogis and spicy bulgogi, and then it's just rice, and then oh, it's amazing. I miss those times. But yeah, I think that's like the best times. Big day spot, I guess. Or I don't know. We usually just stay at home nowadays, watch movies, cook, eat, and stuff. So I think the house is the best because, like, you can just be comfortable as well. Like, you don't need to dress up, and we don't really like dressing up and stuff. <laughs> Next question. I'm keen to skin mate, skincare routine. Uh, my skincare routine is water. So. I'll, I'll put all the products up here. So I use this Inish Free. I forgot what it's called, but I put a picture here. It's this Inish Free cleanser. It's really good. Like it doesn't dry out your skin to the max. So amazing. My toners. I use the Lush, which I actually here. This is my skincare table. Skincare table. So this is my 
toner water it's from lush i'm actually up trying to update my skincare because moisture just dries really easily so when we're allowed to go back out i'm gonna i'm going to go shopping for skincare so i will maybe I'm, i'll post a new updated one but there's one right now on my instagram channel my instagram igtv igtv if you want to see my skincare routine at this moment i think oh i didn't post it whoops okay skincare routine is on the way um okay i've answered that question oh we only have two more questions pretty good um do you have a t hidden talent if so what is it do i no i don't what are your three favorite makeup products? Um, I would say this one. This is my new favorite. It's the concealer by Maybelline in the shade of Nude. And that's, what be, that's what I use for my concealer. I really like the Anastasia Eyebrow Pomade in the shade of ash brown i think i bought the, i bought the wrong color though i think i need the my dark brown because as you can see it's like it has a grayish tone which i don't really like it but i spent 20 euro in this so i might as well keep using it but it's a really good the pomade itself is amazing my other favorite one is the babe in paradise by brett Malak. and I just I just love how there's many different shades. This one, this one I use for my like here. I don't know what it's called. This one I really like this one because I always use like pinkish shades. So I really like this one. I love this. I love all of it. But I haven't. I don't really use shady bitch because I don't know, I think it's a bit too dark when I use it. I, I feel like I would wear this most when like I go to a nightclub or something because that's when like. My makeup is more deeper, not more dark. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching my video. Um, that's the end of this Q and A. And thank you guys for everyone that commented or that asked me a question. Like that means so much to me. And if you guys have any more videos that you want to see on my channel, please DM me on Instagram or comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.